Hello, it's me, Joe, again, and I'm back with another video, this time a little bit different from the ones I've done before. Um, I want to share with you my adventure with this snare drum right here. Uh, it's a 13 inch by three piccolo snare, uh, and I bought it on eBay for 23 pounds brand new, which is amazing. I mean, that's disposable money, really. Uh, I just had to buy it and see what, um, what I could do with it and whether it was worth having, I suppose. Uh, £23 includes the delivery charge, believe it or not. So £23 delivered to my home, uh, and here it is. So uh, not only do you get a snare drum with this thing, you get this uh, strange <laughs> pair of teeny-weeny drumsticks, and uh, you get a strap as well in case you want to join a marching band, I suppose. Uh, so, you maximum value from this snare. Um, get rid of that. Uh, this thing is called, oh, it's a, a Glarry snare drum. And it comes from, with some very kind of uh, thin heads, you know, sort of diplomat kind of thin. Um, it has an interesting sort of strainer to it. Here, I'll, I'll show you a bit better, a bit closer up. So. We've got this interesting snare strainer, which I, I would have said is like a sort of Gladstone style strainer, uh, possibly an improvised mouse trap by the feel of it. Um, I don't know how long that's going to survive, really, but it's kind of a basic mechanism. And you have to be a little bit gentle with it so it doesn't make a loud snapping sound. Uh, it has quite a nice wrap on it. Snares, uh, you know, looking at the inside of the shell, I've got no expertise really uh, when it comes to wood and, and so on, but it looks like a piece of plywood to me and it looks okay. So let's have a listen to this thing now as it came out of the box. I'm not going to do the whole uh, unwrapping thing video, I think that's silly, but um, uh, this is silly anyway. <laughs> So there you go. Um, it doesn't sound horrific. Obviously, the, the heads are very thin, um, so it's kind of uh, papery, I guess you could call it. Who knows? Um, but, you know, again, for £23, if you've got this uh, and you want to play around with the snare drum, it's fine, to be honest. Um, but anyway, um, let's move on to the next fun bit, and we're going to replace the heads. In the spirit of frugality, uh, I bought a, a set of code heads uh, I've never used them before. Uh, the, the top, the uh, batter, is called a Code Zero, and it has a, a, a black ring in the middle, uh, so like a sort of CS-style head. Uh, and then I've got what's called a Code Genetic um, yeah, three mil snare head. It's a kind of standard thing I would put on a snare drum. Uh, I've, as I say, I've never used these before, but I've heard good things about them. They're a bit cheaper. The pair of heads cost me 22 quid delivered. Um, I guess it would cost maybe 10, 15 pounds more if I got one of the more famous brands. Um, so let's see how these do. Uh, I also got a set of Shaw snare wires. These are really good quality wires. Uh, again, the sort of more famous brand uh, of, of uh, quality snare wires maybe cost somewhere in the region of 25 pounds quid, I think. Um, these were 16, 16 pounds. So here we go. I put my Code Zero batter head, Code Genetic, Code Genetic 
three mil snare side uh, and my short snare wires on this thing. When I swapped the heads out, uh, I had a look at the, uh, the shell and the bearing edges. Uh, they seem to be reasonably smooth. Uh, I took the chance of just going very lightly with a bit of sandpaper. There's a sort of snare bed that seems to have been hacked out of the shell, not very evenly, so I just uh, gave that a quick uh, smoothing off with a bit of very light sandpaper. Uh, again, I have no particular experience in doing these sort of things, but uh, I just thought I might as well do that. And again, the, uh, the shell seemed pretty round to me when I measured it, maybe uh, three mil, uh, millimeters rather variation. The edge is sort of reasonably smooth, not, not at all perfect, but when I think about like my Ludwig Pioneer from the 60s, which is one of my favorite drums, um, the bearing edges uh, are like the Himalayas, up and down like that, and the drum is great. So uh, I don't know what, what to think about that. Uh, anyway, here it is. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Now let's see what it sounds like with a slightly higher tuning. So cool, uh, it sounds like a snare. I think it sounds okay. Um, I haven't tuned it quite as high as it came from the factory. Uh, I like it a little bit lower. I haven't added any muffling to it. And uh, all in all, it sounds pretty decent to me. In total, the cost of the snare, 23 pounds uh, is added to by uh, 38 pounds that I spent on the, um, the heads and the snare wires. Um, I guess you could probably get away with just replacing the batter and still getting a reasonable result. Um, by comparison, I reckon you could probably pick up uh, a snare similar to this on eBay secondhand, made you know a better quality drum, I guess, and then put a couple of heads on it, and you'd probably end up spending somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know, 80 to 100 quid, uh, getting yourself a 13 inch piccolo. So whether this is a worthwhile thing or not, and whether it's worth buying yourself a Glarry snare for 23 pounds, 
Uh, I don't really know. But um, there you go, it was a bit of an experiment, a bit of fun. I'm going to keep playing this thing and see what it's like. Um, I have a good impression of these heads so far. Um, maybe I'll get some code heads and stick them on some snares that I'm a bit more familiar with um, and uh, see what they sound like. The surface of the thing is kind of reminds me of an Aquarian, which you know has a kind of rough surface to it. It's probably quite good for brushes and so on and so forth. So um, I might have a fiddle with that a little bit and uh, get some brushes and try it out later as well. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm not really sure what conclusions to take away from this experiment and, and what we've learned from this, but I hope at least you found this entertaining. Basically, I think a drum is a pretty simple thing. And uh, for a lot of applications, a cheap, basic snare drum like this, you can still get something very usable out of it. The weak point might be the snare strainer, but if it's strong enough to last, uh, this is an okay drum. Uh, would I necessarily do this? Again, if I had 60 to 80 quid, say, to spend and wanted to get myself a, a piccolo, uh, maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, maybe I'd try and get um, a better quality drum secondhand instead. It's kind of cool that you can get something like this so cheaply and that works well enough. So make of that what you will, I suppose. So that's that for today. Now go away and practice.